Friday. Um, so I just dropped Jay off at school. I'm buzzing over to check the wean calves real quick and then I'm headed straight to the barn. I wanna work with Leo just a little bit and try to ride before this rain sneaks in. Um, we went from being uh, 70 degrees yesterday and super, super nice and now it's gonna drop temps and be more December winter weather. But just trying to get a few things. I want to muck the stalls out. I want to get new sawdust in there. Lots of stuff that I just didn't do yesterday that I probably should have. But I rode and Keaton rode, and and that's kind of how the day went. Um, but anywho, let's go check those caps. Well, the calves are all where they're supposed to be. They're just really spread out. Um, they make that pretty well. May need to move them later. They're all romping and playing back there in the tree line. And I guess we gotta pick up the rest of our wood from our wood party last week. But everybody looks good. They're so happy. Oh, there's someone in the mineral feeder. I'll try to zoom in. There. I gotta bring over some mineral for them. We put out mineral yesterday for the bull calves and the mamas, so we'll bring over some more for them too. We use the Perina Wind and Rain all season for all our livestock. Well, the cattle anyway. And then we use the Perina 1212 horse mineral. It's loose just like that. I guess I should show you that when we get back. I gotta chore them guys. See how much I can accomplish before the rain moves in this morning. I have to move some stuff around in the barn to get what I need to do done. But isn't that always how it goes? You gotta move something to do something. I know, I hear y'all. We talk about how important mineral is for the cattle. I don't know if I've mentioned it, and I probably haven't mentioned it, how important it is still for the horses. Um, I feed this Purina Free Balance 1212 mineral for the horses. Um, it is just loose, so I only get, you know, I only put out as needed. I don't put the whole bag out. And then of course we feed the impact and the senior strategy as well. It's just a nice overall feed. I love the senior because it has the complete feed with hay built already in it. So whatever I'm giving to Scooter, he can have this directly, but um, I go ahead and add in hay as well. And they are banging at stall doors this morning because I'm about 45 minutes late. It's raining. And I didn't get everything I wanted to do done. <sighs> That's all right. I got to write. I got to write Leo, and that was fantastic. Forty-five minutes of working him, and not one rare up, not one little flinch. I don't know. He must have just had a fleek yesterday, I guess, or feeling good, or maybe I asked something that wasn't clear to him. I don't know. But we had a great ride today, and I'm thankful. And it's it's raining, and we really do need the rain as much as. I hate to admit that, and it's going to be muddy, but we really are so dry that this is a blessing. He's such a good sport. <laughs> I really thought he would eat the treats. 
He just wants hay. This is what happens when you're trying to do a Purina thing. And uh, I really thought he would eat the bag of treats. He doesn't even care. He seriously is such a good sport. <laughs> he don't even care. Leo! Can you say Merry Christmas? <laughs> He's like, Mom, seriously? How much more of this am I gonna have to do? <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh. Will it fit on both your ears? Leo, you're the best. I've never done this. We've never put anything on his head. <laughs> yes. Good boy. <laughs> um, I'm not a cat person at all, but this one is pretty special. She never asked me to pick her up. I think she just wants me to feed her. <laughs> and there comes the mud puddles. <laughs>